All right, here we are riding, uh, riding in uh, the car with Mike Dillard in, in Austin, Texas, about to cross Sixth Street um, here uh, here for the magnetic sponsoring weekend. Uh, here's the uh, famous Mike Dillard. So, uh, Mike, uh, this uh, th th this this weekend, how's uh, from your perspective, has it gone as planned? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, feedback from everybody's been fantastic. And we really wanted to do a workshop, you know, where it literally was hands-on. It wasn't just about information or about learning. It was about doing and walking out the door with an end result. And uh, I think we've accomplished that uh, that goal extremely well. And, um, you know, the party at the house last night was fun. I think that was everybody's favorite part. Uh, I know it was mine just to get to see everybody, meet everybody. Um, you know, for the most part, everyone's just a name and an email address. So this is really cool to, to get to know everybody that, you know, uh, I've been speaking to for so long so yeah great so yeah you know I'm, I'm curious you know having um, having been part of the magnetic sponsoring system and ML, MLM traffic formula you know for me it was uh, just a, a, a big eye-opening uh, in a lot of ways your materials really showing me the field you know uh, just just you know what to do in order to get started you know what what was your tipping point you know I mean you know in creating that you know how did you get to that point what was your process like um... You know, creating the book itself or the system or the, the, the system you know just uh, whatever comes to mind I, um, uh, it's not <laughs> it, it's, it's nothing special it's just actually doing I mean I, I really um, became engrossed in learning marketing and direct response um, to where that's all I would do uh, and every spare minute of my time is, is have my head in the book and study um, but I started implementing every single thing that I learned along the way, writing sales letters. I mean, the first sales letters that I wrote were horrendously bad, and it probably took me at least three to four months to write the final version for the Magnetic Sponsoring Sales Letter, uh, and that's constant effort, hours of sitting in front of my computer every day. So I don't know if there was ever a, simply a tipping point as much as it was a long, you know, hard, hard one fight, basic, you know, fight basically. Um, a process more than more than a tipping point than anything else. Um, so that's how I would describe it: long, grueling, but definitely rewarding. And um, it's, it's been a blast, you know. It's, great. Uh, it's been great. So you know, and to being here with you guys this weekend, one of the things that's really evident is there's a lot of teamwork going on. You know, uh, in 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 your in your uh, journey, uh, you know, at what point? Um, you know, did you go from, you know, were you were you kind of solo and then kind of built a team around yourself? Yeah, so, I, I did everything myself for two years. Um, wrote the book, designed the cover, uh, wrote the sales letters, did the graphics for the sales letters, set up one shopping cart, wrote all the emails, uh, every everything uh, I, I did on my own. And, um, you know, that's a trap that a lot of people fall into, uh, you know, sole proprietors is... is you kind of have a feeling that no one can do anything better than you can because it's your project, it's your baby. Um, but you've got to definitely get out of that mentality. And I was at uh, Evan Pagan's Altitude Seminar, the very first dry run before the real one took place in LA, um, probably about two years ago now. It just burned out. I mean, uh, there was a point in the beginning where I would just have to pack all the books myself, address them, take them to the, uh, the post office crates of them every single day, uh, handle all the customer service emails which was definitely not fun um, and just got burned out and that's uh, when I realized that you have to bring people in and, and build a team and so that's what I learned at, at Evan's event and uh, did that immediately and our business grew by 500% within six months uh, of doing that and I spent a lot less time doing the day-to-day the -day stuff and, and more of the, the studying and planning just working with individuals and helping other leaders in the industry and, and doing consulting. So uh, the freedom I've gotten has been unbelievable. My business is 10 times better for that. And so I'd encourage anybody out there that if you're trying to do everything on your own, is to pick the thing you specialize in. For me, that's writing copy and marketing and stick to that and then make sure somebody else is on your team or you outsource everything else. Because uh, if you don't, you're really holding yourself back. So. Great. Uh, one final question here, Mike, if it is, um, you know, if you were starting today, no list, you know, nothing at all, 
what, uh, what, what, what would you do to, to, to get started? Hmm. Um, I would do exactly what I, I, I teach in the book and what I've seen many of our students do at the Magnetic Sponsoring uh, Community website, excuse me, which is to study, acquire some skill sets that many people or other people are unwilling to acquire just because it takes a lot of time, effort, and money uh, to put into acquiring that kind of education and skill set. Uh, and once you do that, people are gonna are gonna seek you out, just like Raymond and Fernando, who are hosting this event here on stage all weekend, uh, you know, in front of 100 plus people. The way the reason they are here now and self-employed today uh, is because they jumped on the community site and started sharing all of their knowledge and expertise about SEO that they had learned the year before, freely with other members. And um, you know, they one of their forum posts they had put a little video they had made on on search engine optimization and had more forum views than any other post on the entire site. And instantly overnight, they became, uh, you know, known names within our community, which is fairly significant. Uh, and here they are three months later on stage hosting one of my events as one of my instructors now uh, and self-employed. So you don't have to have a list. They didn't have one. Uh, they just got onto social communities where there was already traffic and already a, a user base started sharing their knowledge and expertise in ways that other people were not, at a level other people were not, and you can't help but attract people to you when you do that, so um, it's not difficult, uh, it really isn't. All right, well Mike Dillard, I uh, know that I've had a great weekend, um, thanks for offering uh, incredible content, and uh, yeah, finishing off with Mike Dillard here in Austin, Texas. Yeah, you're welcome, thank you for having me, this is kind of fun, just... I don't know if you can tilt the camera, we're just cruising around in the Aston and Austin here and uh, having a great time and we're like, hey, let's go shoot an interview. What, what better way to do it, right? So this has been a lot of fun and uh, thank you for having me. It's been great. Alrighty. Take care, guys.